Navy. Israeli Navy, your information is incorrect. You are threatening to open fire on an unarmed ship and unarmed civilian carrying only humanitarian aid headed for the Gaza Strip. This is illegal. Repeat, you are threatening to open fire on unarmed civilians who constitute no threat to the state of Israel or its armed forces. Yeah, they are threatening to open fire. I'll, I'll, I'll call straight back. I'm going to call London and Greece now. We told them uh, we are going towards Gaza. They said Gaza under blockade. We told them now Gaza it's under occupation. And uh, you, if you're gonna uh, open fire, you're gonna open fire on unarmed civilians. Is everybody up here got a life jacket? Yeah. You are entering a blockade area. There are grave threats for the safety and security of navigation in this area, and it is close to American traffic. Yes, Israeli Navy, under international law, the Gaza Strip is under occupation. It is not a legal blockade, it is under occupation. As an occupying power, you have a responsibility for the safety and welfare of the people that you occupy. We are carrying humanitarian aid only for the people of the Gaza Strip. Therefore, it is your responsibility to allow this peaceful ship to enter. And we are 21 unarmed civilians carrying only humanitarian aid destined for the people of the Gaza Strip. We constitute no threat to the security of Israel or its armed forces. We know we are unarmed civilians that have been cleared by the port of Larnaca. We have a former member of the U.S. Cynthia, how are you feeling second time around? Been in this place before. I think we'll be alright. They have threatened to, uh, to attack us, but I think we have to call it bluff. You know, sometimes people have to stand with courage and do what's right. And when, when people are doing what's wrong, as is the Israeli government now, with collective punishment of one and a half million people, civilians, we've got to call their bluff when they threaten to attack us and shoot us, and we've got to go to help the people. We have to call a halt to inhumanity, injustice, and when governments abuse human rights and international laws, non-violence and powerful. We are humanitarian activists. We're taking medicines and toys and cement to help the people of Gaza rebuild their country after it was bombed illegally by the Israelis in January. Where are our governments? Where is President Obama and his serious actions about bringing peace to Palestine and the Middle East? Where is the United Nations? Where are the European Union? All silent. At the moment we have one patrol vessel and it is uh, circling us constantly. They have jammed our radar and they have jammed our GPS. So uh, at this stage we are working off compass and paper. We also have signal on our satellite phones. So we can get our coordinates off this. We can still keep running. Due to it being a steel boat, I cannot see them uh, ramming us. It's unlikely. Their other option is to actually board us, cut, send out zodiacs and board us. And to do this, they're going to actually have to bring in another couple of ships to do this. The other option then again is just to track us the whole way to Gaza, and then when we enter Gaza and waters, then arrest us and confiscate the boat and bring us into Ashdod. Yes, you <laughs> just about. Hi Marcy, this is Cynthia calling. I will try and reach you at your home. But hopefully it will be a safe trip. Nothing will I'm going to call my friend and we'll get things going. Only a threaten. Hi guys, I've had the microphone turned off, but 
that's only because there's nothing new going on. The Israeli Navy has not communicated with us since I last talked to you. The last communication we had from them, they threatened to open fire within five minutes, but they did not do that. They have jammed our GPS and our radar. They are put it, shining their high beam spotlights into us. At the moment, we can see one. And we are continuing on our course. Also, he needs to leave the landline in the free gas apartment free and manned. There needs to be somebody manning the phone. I'm, I'm calling uh, the, the BBC, one of the main journalists. Uh, and I hope that that message will get through, but we've been cut off again, so... It was just Palestinians on board, they wouldn't even give the warning, they would just open fire, due to the fact that it's internationals, High profile people like Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, ex Congress pe ex Congresswoman, uh, and people from all other you say, European countries. Um, they have to be much more careful on what to do and what to say. They may just fire across the bow, see if that scares us. I doubt it though at the same time. I would imagine if they really are intent on stopping us, it will be zodiacs up along the side, board us, and just to rest us. There's a ramp coming up uh, behind us. This is probably what they need if they want to board our boat. Uh, it is getting closer, so it's something we have to be prepared for. Although, again, we don't really know what they're going to do, so just stay calm. They have not contacted us again since I left, but you know. If you have any this shit that you want to hide, you want to hide it now. Okay, if you guys can see, they've turned their rib in. It looks like they're headed straight for us. Your armed forces know who we are, as do our embassies, and as we do not constitute any kind of threat to the security of the Israeli armed forces, there is no reason to use force against us. I repeat, we are civilians. Do not use force against us. Over.